Happy Halloween, y'all! Thank you for stopping by my channel, even on this day. I really appreciate you tuning in. Feel free to share what you're doing or what you're dressing up as in the comments. Especially you fun ones that actually go outside. <laughs> I'm kidding, no harm staying indoors. I'm more of a horror movie under the blankies person myself. Alright, enough of my blabbering. You're probably here for the murder mystery finale. Enjoy the show. Oh, you wanna recap? Well, day 2 was a clucking nightmare as Bloodworth died after being poisoned by Rose Chicken. The camper's cooking skills were tested and many fights erupted around the cabin. In the end, Josie went from top to bottom along with Niana. And on day 3, when Josie was discovered to be missing from her bedroom, she was found dead, burned to a crisp next to the BBQ grill. Well, let's pretend she's actually burned to crisps, okay. I made the campers light some fires and whew, the man prevailed and the woman stumbled, tale as old as the 17th century. And the three women received scared stones and tonight, more will die but most of all, the killer will be revealed. <laughs> well look at this happy family. Not so happy more when more of you die. Ugh, I still can't believe that three of you got scared stones. Oh, Daria is pissed. Jessene Klonkis Skuma Canathoy Narble. Ugh. Tell me why Victor looks terrified AF even though he's been safe this whole time. <laughs> well, uh, you can go now. Don't let the big bucks bite. Okay, I think everybody's just gonna head off to bed now. Tasha seems unfazed. Nova. Oh my god, woman, don't slam my fridge, please. <laughs> why are all the guys going to the bathroom? Oh, it's just Raymond goofing off. <laughs> I forgot he still sounds like a demon from hell, please. <laughs> Oh, poor Victor got a nightmare of taking a test in the nude. I hope it's the journaling test. <laughs> Wait, Victor, no! <laughs> you can't just go into someone's room. Uh, Nyana is freaking uh, sleeping. Uh, Please don't give yourself a pack tongue in Nyana's mirror. Well, it's the morning now, and Daria's here alive right now, finishing up in the restrooms. <gasps> oh, hey, all the campers are awake now. Let's head downstairs. Wait. Do you hear anything? Oh, oh, it's Latin pop. La, 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 la. Well, uh, someone planted the whole dance floor down here, so ooh, couple with some refreshing drinks too. Well, come on, everybody, it's time to party. Oh yeah, shake that booty in those tidy undies, Karev. No, no, not like that though. Oh my god. Yanka Bamu, Zampa Guasha, Broom Shamey. Victor, that is the whitest dancing I have ever seen. Okay, that's more like it, yes! Oh my god, Raymond is flirty. <laughs> Help. Oh hey, Dara is helping herself to some drinks. What a great idea. Come, come grab some drinks, everybody. Tasha's the only one that seems skeptical about all of this, like, at all. Shaby Bully Galan. Funiata. John Josenessa. Bahira. Can I kindly ask who the hell are you? Uh, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> yeah, I'ma just... He was never here. <laughs> what a nice little party! Dara and Nyana are chatting away, and Victor is still trying to dance. Raymond is... uh, flirting with Tasha. Sure. And Victor's off to claim the last drink, and Raymond's telling everybody a story. Oh, oh, wait. What the... Daria! Nyana! Why are you laughing like that? <gasps> oh, sh even Grim is here. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, they're both dead! Oh, the double kill? One of you four is really evil for this. <laughs> Victor looks like he's about to throw up. Oh, okay, turn this music off, please. Oh, I'm so upset! Nyana and Daria deserved better. Although I bet Tasha's feeling pretty good surviving this double kill. Grim's like, uh, K-Wire, um, why did the past 25 entries all come from you? <laughs> oh my gosh, these four are never gonna stop crying. Thank you, Grim, for another day of hard work. Oh wait, there's one more! <laughs> oh my god, this drink has to be spiked. Thanks again, Grim, took you long enough. Alright, uh, let's make these burials quick so we can get to the crime solving! Oh Grim, you're still here! Uh, you love the classics, I guess. Oh yeah, move those hips, Grim! Bet you don't get to do this every day. Wait, wait, hold on, th th that's not for you. <laughs> I... Why is a bear barging into my house? Uh, is it my mods? I'm gonna go check my mods. 
nothing wrong with mods, so we'll just keep deleting people that come into my house. <laughs> Tasha and Karif are working out together. Maybe they're best buds again? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, people falling over just scared me. Grim! <laughs> Grim is staying so long today. Victor is literally playing with death right now. What a brave man. This is character development, baby. Uh, well, uh, I guess that, that didn't last long. And he goes to yell at Tasha again. <laughs> She's handling this so well. Alright, I'm gonna make y'all go do the cabot challenge now. Oof, and Karif is already in a bad mood. This should be fun. So, the last thing Daria and Nyana did was take a sip of the forbidden juice before dying. I don't know why the rest of you aren't affected, so I'm putting you to the test in bartending. You will make me three drinks, which I really don't want to try and pronounce, but it's these three on the screen. Got that? Okay. You will want to get be judged on speed and quality. Now, go take your places, peeps. Hello again. Now, let the drink making begin. Everyone starting. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess I chose the wrong drinks. I didn't think you'd just be pouring it out. <laughs> Alright, okay, this last drink they're actually finally mixing. Oh, I guess we'll roll with it. Hey, everybody's doing decent except Karif. I'm sure he dropped half of his stuff on the floor. Yep. We fought. Oh, uh, shoot a, um, Kelka. Well, Raymond already finished, Victor comes in second, and Tasha in third, and Karif is last. That was a tight race, you four. But there's still points to be collected in terms of quality, so let's judge that right now. I know you did just try to serve me a mixed drink in a red cup, Karif. Of course, the quality is poor. <laughs> Shaking my head. Raymond, on the other hand, got excellent after excellent. A little mixologist we have on our hands, huh? Baby's in boy. <laughs> Tasha got normal, normal, and normal. Decent job, Tasha. And Victor! Oh! So for some reason, I can't see Victor's drink quality, but I'm gonna assume he has two excellent, because those glasses are sparkling. And the last one is normal quality, because it's not in the red cup. <laughs> and with that, you may return to the cabin. Four people left. It's really down to the wire now. I look away for one second and Raymond already got a rose in Karif's hand. <laughs> oh my lord, the bromance is in my shows. Well, never mind. Uh, Raymond just got rejected. <laughs> R.I.P. Back to the bubble machine for Raymond so he doesn't lose his shit that he got rejected. <laughs> Meanwhile, Victor and Tasha are becoming sorta allies in this game. Tasha's patience has paid off, I guess. I've never seen him so happy. Uh, boys will be boys, I guess. <laughs> Look at Victor improving his dancing skills in such a short time. Atta boy. Aw, Tasha has finally come to join the group. A little Final Four reunion before we get to the journaling test. How cute. Alright, time is up. Time to take your exam. Alright, the final four. A killer among us and one more murder to go till the finale. Y'all know what to do, so let's do it. Writing, writing, writing. Raymond is still very calm. And Victor is panicking, nothing new. <laughs> Meanwhile, Karif is laughing out loud. Oh my goodness, you good man? Interesting. A lot of rivalry among the guys here, surprisingly. What about Tasha? What do you think? Spama, Flume, Apalachaba, Uabarani Bayumi, Cebu on a mob. Come on, Victor, you can do it. Oh, Raymond's straight up crying now. <laughs> uh, anytime now. Ooh, Tasha finished first, and Raymond is in second. It's between Karif and Victor now. The two accused. Ooh, Karif finished first, and Victor is not even phased. Well, I have what I need. Results await you in the cabin. Panic at the victor since he finished last in today's journaling test. 
Another night, another round of results. Are you ready? Let's reveal! Ooh, 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 Victor and Karif are both scared. But they guessed each other though. How did that happen? In other news, Raymond got best performance for the second day in a row. Impressive work. Almost too impressive. And Tasha is safe, but that's a relief after the events of this morning. Well, Victor finally has something to be afraid of and he darts off to the bathroom. Oop. Okay, now they're both angry and they're walking around. <laughs> Sup, Raymond. Can't go the day without huffing some puffing. Oh, Raymond. <laughs> Tasha and Karif are both angrily jogging once again. I have no clue what they're angry about. Especially Tasha, at least. Like, she's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Poor Karif is not having a good day. Well, we shall see if Karif survived another night, or is it Victor that will perish tomorrow? Seriously, another nightmare about taking a test in the nude? I'm not gonna make you go naked, Victor. It's morning, and is it me or is it a little cold in here? <laughs> Raymond is awake and ooh, Tasha is too. Victor? Oh, Victor! Victor's alive. Is Karif? No! Karif? Oh no, Karif! He is frozen! Oh, you're so punctual, Grim. He is frozen solid! What is up with that? Tasha and Victor enter the room in shock as they see Karif's death. I bet Victor is slightly relieved though, no. right? Raymond Wang, are you okay? <laughs> I know you're not eating peas as your best friend is freezing to death upstairs. Damn, he was basically naked too. That probably wasn't a fun way to go. <laughs> Tasha and Victor are crying like non-stop. Please hurry it up, Grim. Well, better late than never, I guess. The show's almost over. Oh my god, he melted into the ground. That's cool. So, it's one of you three, huh? Victor, oh my god, we've been through this. Stop screaming. And he dashes off into the night again. Oh, wait a second. What's that on the floor? Oh, it's, it's a note. Uh, well, we'll read it real quick, I guess. Greetings, campers. It is I, the killer. We are at the end of this murder mystery now, and one of you will live, the other will die. Your host, K-Wire, has tried his hardest to deduce the nature of my murders, but he is nothing but a fool. Okay, wow, rude. I was trying my best. Okay, fine, I'll finish the note. If you want to step into the mind of a killer, this is your chance. There are five challenges scattered around the cabin which will detail how the murders actually went down. Complete them, and a secret will await you in the cabin. I'll be waiting. Sign the killer. Okay, ominous, but also rude. <laughs> I can't wait to find out the killer so I can kick their asses myself. <sighs> I'm kidding, but uh, I guess we'll meet at the backyard then. I mean... Oh, wow. The killer really did set up a whole facade across the backyard. Well, okay, so yeah, I guess this is your final challenge, campers. I will count you off. One, two, three, go. Oh, okay, looks like Tasha and Victor are heading to the other side of the cabin while Raymond chose whatever it is in front of him. Oh, a sign! Let's read it real quick. K-Wire deduced that a fire is lit on the grill to cause the death of Josie. In reality, I ticket the barbecue in the night to send sparks flying as soon as the grill is turned on. I knew Josie was the meal provider of the cabin, and she fell right into my trap. Journey into my mind by fixing this stove in front of you. Be careful of the sparks, though. Well, uh, I guess we'll do what it says then. <laughs> Whew, the killer isn't joking. Those sparks are really flying. Clever take on him. Grenoid Varsp. Let's check in on Raymond then and see what this thing says. My first kill. I actually sawed off all but one part of the floor you see below the piano before the campers moved in and simply tapped it with my feet to make it fall on poor Emily. I invited Emily saying that there are people who did a tutorial on using the thermostat and she was all too ready and gullible. At the station, you will play the piano until you reach level 2 as a tune to my ingenious kill. Uh, that's a lot of words. I, I assume you don't play the piano much, Raymond? Or 
Arabic. Uh, born a cape. Victor and Tasha continue to fix, and Raymond continues to play. He hasn't made much progress. Hmm. Oh, Victor! <gasps> Holy crap! Victor finished the stove fixing first! He is racing away to the next task now, leaving Tasha in the dust. Ugh, how's this one gonna roast me again? Let's read it. You all felt a chill in the air this morning, didn't you? My geniusness actually managed to hack into the cabin's air system and turn Karif's room temperature to a zero degree Celsius. Oh, and that's 32 Fahrenheit for you Americans. <laughs> I kid. <clears throat> Where did I hack from? You will find out. But for now, you will try to hack into the llama corn listserv like I did into the cabin. Don't get caught! Victor begins to hack into... the whatever, and ooh, I bet he hates this. <laughs> okay, that's a little dramatic, Victor. Been up shelves. Laugh up its toy. Raymond is about halfway through this level now, I think. He is fuming, like his high maintenance trick kicked in at the wrong time, wrong place. Tasha finished fixing the stove on the other hand, and she is off to the next station. Oh, she's also coming to do some hacking. Our security guard breaks the law for the first time. Oh, what's that sound? <gasps> oh right, she's a techie. That's a hefty advantage. Her pasta has to know Trofa. Bahushu Foibi? Man, Raymond's anger is really slowing down his piano playing skills. <laughs> oh, Victor! <gasps> Victor finished the hack game! Wow! For now, it's between Tasha and Victor as Victor takes the lead and hits to his third task, still running like a headless chicken. Raymond is still on his first task as Victor... Oh, Victor's heading to the corner of the forest! Alright, uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, why you thought the poison was in the chicken on day two? Okay, this killer needs to stop addressing me by name. <laughs> I'm feeling very attacked. However, the poison is actually on the plates, not the food. You see, these plates were specially made and infused with bee pollen the night before, just in time to react to Bloodworth's deathly allergy to bees. It's time for you to craft a plate using this pottery station to understand my most subtle kill of all. Oh yeah, this pottery station is a mod, which I will link in the description. Victor, stop sighing! Oh my god, focus on the task at hand! That's it, that's good. Oh my god, Raymond is so close. I can feel it. Just a note more. Maybe two. Nice! Raymond finally finishes the piano task and he's on the run. He's gonna fix the stove, eh? Has he had to fix anything at home? Jesus Christ, is Victor done already? Damn, <laughs> that is indeed the plate. Who knew a scaredy cat can actually perform so well? He's like halfway done already. Ooh, looks like Tasha finished the hacking! Let's read this sign real quick before we move on though. For once, K-Wire was almost spot on with this guest for Daria and Nyana. The trick was in the drinks. I inserted a laughing serum into all the drinks, but I slid a little chemical into Daria and Nyana's toothbrushes to ensure that they will burst into hysteria once they take a sip. Since you already did the drink making for your silly little cabin challenge, perform a fire dance successfully since the dance for our place was merely a diversion from the drinks. These confessions are honestly quite eye-opening. <laughs> well, uh, it looks like Tasha is sprinting off to do the pottery, and Victor is about to begin the fire dancing. As he braces himself for the task, Tasha begins her pottery. Ooh, Victor didn't start that off so well. <laughs> Alright, second tries maybe? Oof. Ow. Yep. Raymond is still trying his best to fix the stove on his second task. Better pick up the pace. He is so grumpy about this, oh my god. <laughs> Victor is on his third attempt at the fire dance. Oh, he's finally got it! You go, Victor! Tasha is working as quick as she can on the pottery, and my gosh, Raymond is still fixing the stove. Look at all those sparks! His moodiness is definitely not helping. Grimple Creepo, Creepo Nooch, Polino or Bees. Game. Oh, he finally finished! Does he really need to check himself out though? <laughs> okay, don't stomp to your next task, you gotta go! Run, Raymond! Victor is on his final task, which is piano playing. And Tasha's finished with her pottery. Oh, she's joining Victor at the piano task! <gasps> 
This is Tasha's fourth task, but she is inspired from programming earlier, so maybe she can finish this fast and head on to the next one. <laughs> Ribbit's anger is reaching maximum capacity. He is so pissed. Oh my god, please don't slam my computers. She knobs. Tasha and Victor are neck and neck. Tasha's inspired mood is really helping her out with this though. Victor is not slowing down either. He's feeling that music in his veins. Oh, Tasha made it to level 2. <gasps> the heat is on now. Tasha only has fire dancing to complete and she is done. I think Raven is already like over this day. <laughs> oh, Victor. <gasps> Victor is done and he races back to the cabin. Oh, what, what's this? It says, uh, check the bathroom? Uh, okay, I guess. <gasps> what's this? <gasps> a secret tunnel? I knew y'all were hiding something. Especially this guy. Uh, oh my god. Uh, let's check it, Victor. <gasps> Is that a door? Well, after you, man. I'm not going first. Oh, wow. A secret room. <gasps> oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the heck is this? Ah! Oh god, <laughs> bones and knives everywhere. Who? Uh, was is this a killer secret hideout? There's a computer here, so it must be. Well, uh, what do we do now? I guess we wait to see who joins us. Tasha is doing her fire dance as Raymond continues to angrily stomp to his next station. <laughs> I think he's already over it. Oh poor Raymond, he did so well up to this point though. Tasha bolts for the bathroom and Raymond trails right behind her. I guess this is the reveal. Who will join us in this room? Oh my god. It's Tasha! Ooh. Wait, so what happens now? Is she the killer? Are you the killer, Victor? Oh, she's speaking. Okay, uh, uh bring up the dialogue box, please. With the loy and boot <laughs> Well, that was a nice rhyme, I guess. So, it really has been Tasha who did all that all along. Wow, I did not suspect a thing, and neither did anyone else, I think. <laughs> I think her name only came out like once in this whole game. Professional killer indeed. Congratulations, Victor! You are the winner of Who Done It in Granite! You truly stepped out of your shell and overcame the odds to get to this point, so I'm very proud of you. Wait, what about Raymond though? Oh, uh, isn't that the same door? <gasps> oh no, it's a different door! <gasps> Is this a magical stump? Uh, who are you talking to? <gasps> oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, is this the magic stump for invisible rabbits? <gasps> oh my god. R.I.P. Raven. What a tragic end for the beauty king. Well, that concludes our little mini-series. Our scaredy cat Victor survives the murder cabin and he leaves. Still running in his iconic scared fashion. <laughs> and the granite fall cabin lays abandoned. Hey ya! Uh, how did you like the finale of this mini-series? I know it's not the best way to do a finale, but it was exciting to see the killer review anyway, I think. <laughs> did you get the killer right? Well, here's another chart for our guesses of the campers each round. Seems like nobody gets Tasha at all besides Daria on day one, but that quickly fizzled away. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video and this series, please don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if there's anything you want to see next. Have a happy Halloween and have a great week ahead. Love y'all and thank you.